The U.S. Navy and other international forces are stepping up patrols off the coast of Somalia. They're trying to capture Somali pirates who have received millions of dollars in ransom by hijacking cargo vessels and seizing other ships. The armed men, using small boats with rope ladders and grappling hooks, board slow-moving vessels. Vice Admiral William Courtney, commander of the U.S. Naval Forces in the Gulf of Aden, told the U.S. Congress recently, "If we aren't there to prevent them from getting on board in that 15-minute window of opportunity, then we have、uh, they're successfully on board and they stay on board, then we're in a hostage situation." Over the last year, pirate attacks have more than doubled in the Gulf of Aden. Last September, Somali pirates released a vessel they seized that was carrying Russian tanks and anti-aircraft weapons. The shipping company that owns the vessel paid a multi-million-dollar ransom. The cash was parachuted on board. A month later, pirates were able to hijack this Saudi Arabian super tanker off the Kenyan coast with an estimated $100 million in oil. The U.S. Navy says since last August, Somali pirates have launched more than a hundred attacks in the Gulf of Aden, one of the world's busiest commercial shipping channels. British security analyst Roger Middleton: Somalia provides a perfect environment for piracy. It's got no government to stop you. It's got great places to hide, long beaches where you can get out easily, and you're able to make a huge amount of money. To stop the pirates, the U.S. and more than 20 nations have formed a coalition to patrol these waters. Spain's air force is flying reconnaissance missions. French special forces are training for rescue missions, while Italian warships keep watch over cargo ships. Since January, they've encountered 250 pirates. 117 were disarmed and turned over for prosecution. Despite this, U.S. Navy Vice Admiral Gortney says he can't guarantee long-term success. My concern now is where we will be a year from now. Will our、uh, efforts to try and hold、uh, suspected pirates accountable for their actions will it be effective? Will it have the enduring uh, uh, effect that we're looking for? We don't know. Still, military officials hope the increased presence of warships off the Horn of Africa. And heightened security aboard cargo vessels will, for the time being at least, deter Somali pirates from hijacking more vessels. Chris Simpkins, VOA News.